Welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Today, I want to talk about tires. I've just bought some Hankook Evo 2s. This is them right here. This is a meaty tire. This is a meaty tire. I just like touching it. It's so, it's so nice. I'm, I feel like I'm doing a Vulcan mind meld with this tire. I really love these tires. Oh. Now these are a great summer tire, a great performance tire, and I got them on sale at the tire rack in the States. So I ordered them online. I got them shipped to an installer in Bellingham, which isn't very far from Vancouver, just across the border. As you know, I live in Canada. Go across the border, and I got installed at a Firestone in the States, in Bellingham. And then, after that, I drove back with these tires on. That way, you don't pay any taxes. Now, uh oh, I guess I shouldn't have said that. That could be get me in trouble. I don't think so. Anybody from the uh, Canada Tax Department is probably not a car person, so they're probably not listening to this video. So I'm probably safe. Okay, as you may know or may not know, I had the original Michelin's Prius tires on this car for three years. So they last a long time. They last a long time. And they're an attractive tire, but they don't grip very good. And also, they wear a long time. They're more for like economy. And also the fact that they're used in the Prius just sort of means that you really should be changing that as soon as you can. So I, I waited as long as I could. I waited three years. I finally got some brand new tires. I think they look pretty good. Now, you may have noticed that they look kind of, kind of big. Well, that's because they're bigger. The stock size for our cars is 215 45 17 these are 225 45 17 10 millimeters wider and the sidewalls are about four millimeters wider at each end so in other words the diameter of the car of the tire is about i think nine millimeters more than stock that means it's four millimeters closer to your fender it raises your car up four millimeters, which is hardly noticeable. And it is 10 millimeters wider than a stock tire. These are all very small differences. Uh, these tires fit on a seven inch rim, which is what the stock rim is. So this is my FRS with my larger Hankook 225 4517 tires on stock rims with a one inch lowering with the Eibach Pro Kits and one inch spacers at all four corners. And that's sort of what it looks like. You see the wheels are kind of flush with the fenders. You got a fairly small fender gap. Tires look pretty meaty. And this is a stock FRS. You can see there's more of a gap. The wheels are inset. Okay, so there is a difference. These tires fit on a stock rim no problem and right away I can feel a performance difference the car appears to ride a little smoother actually than the stock Michelin's as you can see the tread is very aggressive you got wide gripping blocks here this shows that it's a performance tire but at the same time it's got very wide grooves to channel the uh, water so should be good in the rain should be good at summertime not good for winter time. I have a dedicated set of winter tires, so that's no problem. But I just love the way these look. They look very aggressive. And it fills up the wheel well very well. A little bit wider, it looks nice. 
Okay, so why did I get the tires in the States instead of just buying them here in Canada, getting on here? Seems like a lot of extra trouble. If I bought the tires from Tire Rack online from the US, they're $99. Up here, those same tires were $189. That makes considerable savings. Tires in Canada are so overpriced. It's unbelievable. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Let's see here. Ah, you can see that actually, I can't fit my finger. I can't fit my finger in between the plastic and the tire at this point. That is as close as you can get. You can see that you really couldn't go any greater diameter than what I've gone. My diameter in total uh, is about nine millimeters um, larger. This tire is nine millimeters larger. Oh, I hope that you liked my video on my engine mods. I did a previous video on my engine mods, including talking a little bit about my Phantom electric supercharger. Uh, a lot of people viewed that. If you have any questions on that or anything else you want me to mention about it, just let me know. Um, I'm loving this supercharger. Just loving it. Now on the other side, I can, I got a little more room, but it's still, it's pretty tight. So yeah, I think on a stock rim, 225, 45, 17 is as wide as you should go. If you go up to 235, uh, there possibly could be rubbing and also 220, 235s are not recommended for a 7 inch rim. You have to have a 7.5 inch rim. So 225 is what you can go. Gives you a little bit of a meatier tire, makes the car look better, slightly more grip, more tire on, this, on the road. And surprisingly, since I've been driving it for only a day, it has actually a softer ride. Now that could be because my Michelins were basically bald. But these tires with their, uh, the tread and the extra volume of air seems to be giving me um, a nicer ride. Now is there anything bad that I noticed about these tires in a short time that I've had them? Uh, yeah, just one thing is that the car seems to, uh, to follow the ruts a little bit more. There's more correction I have to do on the freeway while I'm driving. I have to do more micro corrections. Oh, look what I just found. I found a nail waiting to go in my tire. I'm going to remove this nail from this area. Oh, I'm one of the coolest things about this tire, of course, maybe a lot of tires have this now, is they got the name written right into the tread. Hankook. Nice. Were the Hankooks my first choice? No, they were not. My first choice would have been the Michelin uh, Super Sports. Everyone says those are the, the best tire out there. But they were $140 from Tire Rack. Basically $40 more than these Evo 2s. So I thought I have to compromise a little bit to save a little bit of money and get something that's a step up from my Prius tires I had before. Looks really good at a decent price. It all worked out pretty good. Uh, here's the interior shot. I got some carbon fiber in here two spots plus carbon fiber shift knob. I'd like to do more carbon fiber across there in the future. The only thing wrong with these interiors, it's just too much plastic and too much black. Except I love these little, the red uh, hash marks on the seats, but uh, there's just too much black. And a shout out to FT Club Vancouver. That's the club I belong to up here in Canada. Now the only thing I wasn't too happy about with the installation was basically 
I got charged for TPMS service. Uh, that's where they're supposedly doing some sort of service on your your tire pressure sensors that are inside here. And these are the sensors, uh, electronic sensors that monitor the tire pressure and if the pressure goes down, they will um, alert the driver with uh, a light on your dash. Very nice thing to have. But what is a TPMS service that you have to pay for every time you change your tires on your rims? I've changed tires on rims and not bothered with the TPMS sensors and they still work fine. So is that a bogus charge? Do you think that the tire shops charging for TPMS service every time you change your tires is a real charge or a ripoff charge? Uh, let me know. Anybody who works at a tire shop, can you tell me what they do on a TPMS service charge? Now, if I'm wrong, you let me know if I'm wrong. Now, I think uh, Hankooks are made in Japan, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, maybe somebody knows exactly where they're made. I know that they're a high quality company, high quality tire. The Evo 2s have been recommended by many people. So I feel pretty confident with this tire choice. Uh, one other bad thing about getting these tires is that they're gonna grip a lot better. And so I expect that I won't be doing as much uh, drifting. Even with my supercharger, the car doesn't have a lot of horsepower, but with the uh, old Prius tires, I could, uh, I could drift it pretty easy. But with these tires, I don't think I'll be able to do as much drifting. They're gonna grip. That's the reason, of course, why you get high quality tires, because you want them to grip. That's it for talking about tires. I'm pretty happy with getting my new tires. It's been a long time coming. And so if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, I gotta get back to working on the Porsche. I really love these tires. I love these tires. <laughs> Do you love these tires like me? Mm, not really.